Hey guys and welcome to a, another Warframe video. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about trading in Warframe. And um, for you new players, hopefully this will help you understanding how trade works within Warframe and enable you to basically have the knowledge to be able to trade and get plat yourself and just understand exactly how it works. So a lot of people trade, a lot of people trade weapons, mods, items for plat, especially useful if you are struggling for plat, which can be the case sometimes, or you're struggling for slots. So trading can be very, very useful, but it can also be very intimidating. So if you're a brand new player, you'll come up with these menus. And normally you'll have your clan, you'll have carrier kind of menu, you'll have menu that involves where the certain materials are, and the ones with the two arrows, this is your trade chat. So in the trade chat, as you'll see, you'll see a load of different things, a load of different meanings, loads of different mod words, numbers, plat, reoccurring words, blue words in brackets. And for a new player, it can be very overwhelming. So hopefully this video will help you to understand what everything means, as well as kind of the abbreviations that you'll see. You'll see a lot of WTS. To give you a breakdown on abbreviations, so you see a lot of WTS, WTB, and WTT, okay? WTB means to willing to buy. WTS means willing to sell. And WTT is willing to trade. So they are your abbreviations, and they're the things that are in very bold text. That you'll see everybody do it's important that you do this because you're stating what it is you are exactly doing if you're willing to buy if you're willing to sell if you're willing to trade make sure that you make that clear at the very very beginning so that people know what you're up to or what it is that you're doing here on the right you'll see basically this is everybody in the trade chat which is a lot of people so you'll only use that option if you need to directly message anybody or if they directly message you and that's the way in which you'll do it. You just click on the name and then it'll bring up a load of options. You want to interact and invite and all that stuff. Now, a big thing to learn, especially when you are buying and you are selling, is to understand that the market and the prices of each of your mods and primes and weapons, anything that you are selling, anything that you are buying, prices of those items fluctuates pretty much daily, especially weekly. And it also depends on the popularity of a certain mod or a certain weapon or a certain Riven mod. So again, that can fall into it. What I use personally is Warframe Market, which is what you're seeing on the screen. I use this to, to get the best prices to see what everybody's kind of looking at. You can register, you can register to sign in, and you can link your account directly to the game. So that if you want to trade on the website without having been in the game, you can do. and Everything goes through that. I just personally look at I do this to compare prices and to make sure that I am giving either the best deal or I'm getting the best deal for my plat. So as you can see, you can literally search up everything. The ball prime, and that is currently what it is kind of everybody selling it at. You'll get some kind of stupid prices towards the bottom where people are selling it for a ridiculous amount of plat that just it isn't worth it. For me personally, ball's not worth 200 plat. What I do is I look at the price that a lot of people are giving out. So similar, similar numbers I always look at and I kind of go off that for me personally. Everybody's different, but you will get some players out there that are trying to uh, kind of swindle you. So be careful of that. Just make sure that you are looking on here and you are comparing the prices and making sure that it's being sold for the price that it should be. You can also put in mods if you want to put mods in. So for example, uh, Transient Fortitude, which is quite a popular mod in the market so you can see again we've got the prices we've got the stupid prices at the bottom again but mostly you'll find a consistent price and that's kind of what i go for personally so again just be careful of that and use your head basically on on the prices don't be ripped off so yeah that's warframe market i think it's very useful it's something that you you definitely need to keep looking at because it gets updated all the time and it'll give you a good idea on to what the prices are of all the items and what you should be selling the, the items for more importantly so now that we've done the abbreviations and now that I've introduced you to the Warframe market, hopefully you'll have a little bit more of an idea of pricing as well as the abbreviations that you're seeing in the trade chat. 
Now, what I do is, is I put my items in brackets. As you can see, I'm putting blind rage in brackets at the moment. The reason that I'm putting the item in a bracket is because what it does is it enables the person to look at the specific mod in which I am selling. It makes it easier for them. So by doing this, they can click the link. It's what's called a hyperlink. They can click that and they can see exactly at what level it is, whether I've maxed it out, and uh, see basically if, if what I'm offering is a good deal for them. Some people don't do this. Some people don't put the stuff in brackets. For me personally, I do it because I just think it's more convenient. I just think it's better. And it also looks a little bit more kind of professional. And it enables the person who wants to buy to have a real good look. So yeah, that's useful for me. Another thing that I do is I always go into the trading chat filter. Now this is really, really good. Because what you can actually do is, is you can filter out words or a specific thing that you are looking for. And what it will do in trade chat is it will block out every other word apart from the word that you've put in the filter. So I've put in Rhino, okay? And it will only show any people that are selling anything to do with Rhino or anyone who wants to buy Rhino. It will filter out that. So you're not seeing a mass amount of different things on, on the screen at any one time. You can add to it, so you can maybe do a Rhino Prime if you want to be more specific on that. So if you're looking for only Rhino Primes, Again, you can put that in and it will filter it out. So you press done, it should do it. So again, it will only show Rhino Prime to me, whether that is willing to sell, willing to buy. It'll filter that out. So that's really, really useful. If you've not used that, it's very, very good. You can use that for mods. You can use that for blueprints. You can use that for anything in the game and it will filter it out. So yeah, make sure that you use that. Very, very good. So again, I'm going to try and see if I can find anyone who is trying to sell primed float. Now, sometimes it won't show up. Sometimes it's not always accurate or reliable, but most of the time it is. It's something that's been implemented very recently, but it's a very good and welcome addition. So at the moment, I mean, it's coming up with a lot of prime stuff. But it's not coming up with anything with prime flow. So, but again, it's something that you can use. So again, I'll put in uh, Trinity, see if any Trinity Primes come up. You can literally put in anything you want. It's very, very useful. And what you'll see is you'll notice that the chat now isn't being bombarded. Can you notice that? that it's actually really it's slowed down because that's the filter now. It's only filtering Trinity Prime. So there we go. We've got Fat Killer Panda there who's willing to sell a Trinity Prime. So you can see it's brought, brought the Trinity Prime out. And that's another good thing about the hyperlinks as well, by the way, is that if you do a hyperlink, the filter is more likely to work as opposed to if you just put in Trinity Prime. So it's another reason to use hyperlinks. Like I say, if you're struggling with the hyperlinks, the best thing to do is just put the item itself, what you are selling, in brackets. You can put spaces in there. It really doesn't matter. You'll be good to go. People could then click on it. I will show you an example of this. So if you click the L3, I believe, and then you can scroll up, and there you go, you've got Savage Silence there. And you can see that this person has maxed out Savage Silence. So it'll probably give you an idea as well as to maybe how much this person's going to be selling that for because they've maxed it out. Some people don't max out their mods, some people do. It really depends. We'll have a look at uh, the Zenistar here, which is a very popular, popular mod at the moment. And he's got Toxic and Range on it. Again, it's fully leveled up. So you know that that's going to be going for quite a bit. So yeah, we'll have a look at the Galatine. And this one's got the critical chance. It's got the damage to Grenier. So as you can see, it gives you an idea what it looks like. So that's why hyperlinks are very, very important. Very, very useful. We'll have a look at, I think we've got the uh, the Cernos Prime. As you can see, it comes up there actually in the codex as the hyperlink. Gives you obviously the mastery rank level in case you're not aware of it. So yeah, I think it's very, very useful. Make sure to use hyperlinks. I use that personally. I just think it looks a lot better is useful for other players as well but that's pretty much it guys i hope that you found this video useful if you have do make sure to leave a like do make sure to share and comment if you have any queries or any questions that you'd like to ask do hope that it's helped you out and good luck on trying to get your plaque guys uh, have fun i will see you on the next video guys have a great day bye bye